Hello, Junk Shack. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. The cutting edge in junkyard security technology. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. Now I just need a photo of David. This place is the shit. It's like my junk fortress of solitude. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe.
That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Price, get your ass in here. <laughs> Dude! It smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that? Well, ah! Ah! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? Betting slip. Twelve hundred dollars? Way out of my league. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Who knew? Fight the power. Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Ugh, gross. <laughs> what does Frank really need to remember? I wonder what Frank eats when he gets the munchies. Bomb sauce. For the man who enjoys searing pay with his drive through order. Got it. Even drug dealers need reminders. Apparently, Frank is a werewolf. That's an insane amount of beans. Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. Part of a balanced breakfast. Do I really want to see Frank's bedroom? Okay, little guy. Aw, oh, shit! Pompadour, get up here! 
Pompidou. You little killer. Swingy, flippy instrument of death. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. Someone's a messy eater. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. That's probably the notebook Frank wants. A throne fit for Frank. Poor Frank. Next time, try Ask Miss Arcadia. Ah, oh, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. The mill burned down. Jeez, that's an expensive dog. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Damn. Is this what I think it is? Ah, shit. I'm in the red. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. That dog makes Frank look almost... nice. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Okay, but he's not a poodle, Frank. No, he's not. But I'm gonna treat him like one. Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. <sighs> Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. No shit, Frank. You think I don't know about hiding things from other people? I'm a teenager. Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Hey, 
so uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? I'm... I'm not. Just hanging with a friend here. A friend I don't know much about. Tell me, Frank. Seeing any girls lately? I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You... You got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. She showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. I shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks for telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? Don't you have richer clients to bother? I should fucking hope so. Well, good. Because I need everything I've got. You're a pain in the ass. I've got bigger problems right now. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Oh, holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, nah, this is the first time he's done this. Kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. No shit, Frank. 
You think I don't know about hiding things from other people? I'm a teenager. Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Hey, so... Uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? I'm... I'm not. Just hanging with a friend here. A friend I don't know much about. Tell me, Frank. Seeing any girls lately? I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You... You got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. She showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. I shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks... for... telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh... heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck seventy-five? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? Don't you have richer clients to bother? I should fucking hope so. Well, good. Because I need everything I've got. You're a pain in the ass. I've got bigger problems right now. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Oh, holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, this is the first time he's done this. The kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal.
didn't think I'd be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. What would I buy if I had enough money to build a whole dorm? Probably not a dorm. I should come hang around here during finals. Make everybody jealous. A new medium? They're just too high risk. I always knew that one day Miss Price would leave an indelible mark upon this school. Just... Ugh. It doesn't feel different. I don't belong here anymore. It's not my school. I, uh, I don't have a school. But nothing feels different. Everything still feels shitty. And here I am about to break into the freaking dorm so I can steal money that True owes my drug dealer. This is gonna go great. Now that I'm gone, Steph might be the coolest person left at Blackwell. Besides Rachel, obviously.
Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So what are you doing here? Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, <laughs> kind of hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Oh, I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. I am worried about Victoria coming in now and trying to hog every scene, but the cast overall is fantastic. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... it's... confusing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe, you know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. Rachel would have brought the house down. How can Wells be such an idiot? Come on. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. Blackwell Academy. Conserving water since... never. There's Evan. Putting his pretentious art above his sanity, as usual. In a way, that's kind of badass. <laughs> what are the chances that 200 years ago, some teenager got in trouble for carving faces all over the thing? What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks really ridiculous. Chloe? Uh-huh? I've learned something about myself recently. Something that I think you might understand. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. Forest fires, for example. You were the only person who signed my petition. I mean, seriously signed it. 
That's pretty sad. I'm a low bar, but did you really expect people to care? People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? <laughs> Looks like you were right. Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Samuel. Blackwell's a resident creepy groundskeeper. Nice work, Samuel. Such a nice white door. Though, it feels like it's missing something, doesn't it? Huh. <laughs> That's some intellectual shit, Samuel. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. That's, uh, deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels, or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others. So, uh, what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay. Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. And, uh, what, what do I want to keep hidden? That you are lonely and afraid. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. I'm, uh... <laughs> Uh, looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has, with much love and no room for fear. <sighs> I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. I've got to go, man. Uh, it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. Locked. <laughs> Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Bingo. 
If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage mm -hmm. here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. Evan would follow that bird off a cliff, but I'd settle for away from <sighs> the sprinkler. Hey! Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Time for a fresh start. Here we go. Perfect. You're welcome. A bird on top of a bird. Photo of the year, Evan. <laughs> For once, Evan's obsessiveness turned out to be useful. Gotcha. Drew's room definitely isn't this way. Evan should be far enough away now. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Who would have thought sprinklers would be the key to getting inside the dorms? Definitely cheers the place up. Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's room. No time like the present. Skip, how's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? I'm on a secret drug-related mission, Skip. Under the authority of the Arcadia Bay District Attorney's Office. Really? No. Dude, I, I'm just visiting a friend. I can't... 
I, I really can't just let you go in. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. Your job is creepy, then. Which makes you kind of a creeper. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? Is Wells pressuring you to write more students up? I'm not even a student, but sure, don't let that stop you. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I, I thought we were friends too, but when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look. I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. You're... you're sorry? Y you just looked at my tits. You, you did. You stared right at them. Oh, shit. I, I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that, uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know, but... En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthews. Huh? I'm here? I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. All right, which one is Drew's room?